In this lecture, we're going to input the iTunes Connect settings for the Apple TV app. So first of all, make sure you go back in iTunes Connect and that you've created your app in one of the previous lectures that we've done. Now, um, right here under App Information, you should already have the app name and make sure that the app name that you have here matches the app name that you have within your game. So go back to your game in Xcode and under Tic-Tac-Toe Rapid, the Tic-Tac-Toe Apple TV Info tab for the bundle name, put the exact same name, all right? Instead of product name, put Tic-Tac-Toe, I'm sorry, see, there was an error, so Tic-Tac-Toe on TV. So let's put this, Tic-Tac-Toe on TV. All right, now feel free to put any name that you'd like for your app, all right? And uh, then there's the, um, make sure that the bundle version is similar. So right now we have 1.0, so we're gonna put 1.0 here as well for the bundle version, all right? And make sure that you do that also for this build, Tic-Tac-Toe Rapid. So if I here too, put 1.0 and 1.0. Now this is the one for iPhone, but it's better for you to put it too here because um, in the future there will be bundles that will be for iPhones and, and Apple TVs. You will basically bundle your app so that it could work on all of the above, not just the iPhone or just the TV, all of them. All right, so now that we have the bundle name and the bundle version, let's go back to iTunes. And right here, you have the Apple TV privacy policy. If you have a very specific policy, feel free to write here. Otherwise, you can use the default policy, all right? Uh, it usually comes with the default Apple policy. Now, um, in the future, you'll have to remember the Apple ID if you plan to uh, send a, a rating for your game. You know, you can send people to rate your game, so you'll have to use this Apple ID. Right now, we're not using that. Primary category here, make sure you select games. And the subcategory, we're gonna put board game. And uh, we're gonna put family. Uh, also, it's a puzzle, so instead of board, I'm actually gonna put puzzle. But feel free to put what you want. And second category, I'm gonna put um, education, you know, because it's good for the brain. All right, so um, that's it for this screen. Click on save. And then go to the pricing and availability. Now, this game has no ads, so I'm gonna choose to put this game for for a dollar. So hopefully we're going to make money out just by putting it on the uh, Apple TV since uh, there isn't that much competition. So it's a, it's a great way to make to put that here and click on save. All right. Okay, we're almost there. Now go to the features tab. And here, as you can see, it says if you have any in-app purchase, that's why you would create them, or a game center, you would add them here. But we don't have any, so you don't have to worry about that. There's no in-app purchase, and we're not using any leaderboards, so don't worry about this. Now, um, test flight is only if you want to try, if you want to have somebody try your app, so you would add your test here, but we don't need that. So let's go back to the App Store and take a look at this. All right, and now click on Prepare for Submission. All right? within the App Store, and that's where we're gonna enter things like descriptions and keywords. Now, as you can see, it requires screenshots, so we're gonna be adding that soon. And it requires a description and some keywords and a support URL and the build and the version number. As you can see, the version number is 1.0, so so far so good. So let's enter the information that we can. Description, um, put any description that you have, usually like in the iTunes App Store, anything that's talking about your app. So I'm gonna paste a little description that I have here. And I'm going to put a few keywords. So I'm going to put um, fun puzzle, uh, uh, fun game, play game, classic game, board game, um, and then um, I can keep going. But uh, just for the sake of uh, of this, so I'm going to put two player game. Okay, two player, two players, um, challenge. And uh, I'm going to stop here. I can go. I have 27 more characters, but just for the sake of learning, I'm not going to keep going. All right. So support URL. Put any support URL, the, any website that you own. So I'm going to put appsfresh.com. Now, uh, don't put this one because that's probably not yours. And um, what you have to do here is put any website that you own where people can go and contact you. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create a Tumblr page or a Facebook page and put it here. That's fine. Then the marketing URL, if you're having a campaign, put it here so that Apple will know what to use. And keep going uh, down and here, put uh, your copyright. If you have a company, now is the time to use it. 
if you don't, that's okay. You can just put your individual name here, okay? So if your name is John Smith, then that's the time to put it here. All right, uh, and click on save, and then we're gonna add the rating here. All right, edit the rating. So there's no violence, no real violence. So this game has all to the minimum because uh, we, we're not using any of these. Now, if you're using a team with lots of blood or zombies and things like that, so make sure you, you put the right, the, right, um, the right things here. No gambling, no contest. And I'm gonna make made for kids because there's no ads, okay? Um, age, I'm gonna put nine to 11. Uh, actually, you can even start younger, but nine to 11 is good. Click on done. All right, and the save again. All right, so double check your information here. Uh, you're gonna have to put the app review information. I'm gonna put a random phone number, so don't you can call, but that's not mine. So, um, so don't try to call there. Okay, and demo account we don't need any now. No, the note is a note for the Apple technician that's gonna review your app. You don't need to put anything here. I'm gonna put automatically release this version, which means that whenever this app is finished, it's gonna get automatically released to the App Store. We don't have to say when it's gonna release, it's gonna be released automatically after the review. So go up and make sure you have everything set here. And the next thing you wanna do is save, and then we wanna have some screenshots. And also, um, we uh, just double check all the information, go back through this lecture and make sure you have everything. All right, that's it for now. So next lecture, we're gonna take care of the screenshots.